What is going on YouTube? It's AirJP back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, more of like a sneaker discussion basically. Don't have any uh, pairs in hand I'm going to do an actual review on. I'm going to be talking more about the holiday lineup that's coming out for Jordan Brand um, and on the Nike Sneakers app. So we'll be checking that out in just a second. If you haven't checked out any of my other videos, please do so. Definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so you know every single time that I upload a video. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will leave the links to that in the description box below. As as well as checking out the new blog we've had up and running I guess for a little over a month now so I will leave all that stuff in the description box below for you guys to check out but let's go ahead and get to this video so as I said basically not gonna be a whole lot of editing or anything like that this is gonna be just kind of a standard um, pick up the camera just talk a little bit um, especially about some sneaker releases so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these sneakers that are gonna be coming out in the next few weeks as well as in the next couple months here for the holiday lineup for Jordan brand so we're going to be taking a look first off today uh, pretty much on the Nike Sneakers app. If you do not have the app, which I'm pretty sure if you are a sneakerhead in general, you probably already do have the app. But if you don't, um, definitely you know go to the Google Store or Apple Store um, and download the Nike Sneakers app. So basically, if you um, have been checking out any at all, I'm going to go back so we can really uh, check it out from the front page here. So basically, if you go down, you've got a holiday preview, Air Jordan holiday preview. Now, with this holiday preview, this does have some have some sneakers that have already been released. Um, I'm not really sure why they did that. Um, I'm going to be honest. I thought this would be more, you know, when, when I'm thinking holidays, um, I'm thinking Black Friday and beyond pretty much. Um, and I know Black Friday is technically not a holiday. You know, Thanksgiving's the actual holiday. But in the sneaker world, Black Friday is a holiday because there's always normally a pretty big release. Um, it may not be that you like the release, but it's normally a huge release that gets picked up and normally sold out. So this is what we're going to take a look at first. This is, as I said, on the sneakers app under the holiday preview. And the first sneaker that comes up is this pair of Jordan 3s that release 1110, 10 a.m., $190. These are be being called the Jordan 3 Chlorophylls. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the, that, that's just kind of the name that I've seen going around. I know there's more of a um, I guess, definite name that Jordan Brand is calling these, but I think they're kind of being dubbed the Jordan 3 chlorophylls. Um, and that's mostly because you do have that green um, accent colors all over the sneaker. Overall, I think I, I don't think it's a bad-looking shoe. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably not going to pick these up. Um, it's just not something that I'm really that interested in. I think we've had a whole lot of 3s come out this year, and I'm kind of, don't get me wrong, I like Jordan 3s, but I'm kind of over the whole Jordan 3 thing right now. I'm ready for some different stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Jordan 6 um, Tinkers. These did release um, a couple weeks back. I can't remember the exact release date, but they are sold out actually on the Sneakers app. Um, I have seen them tons of places, you know, that you're still able to get them. So, you know, it's not like, they're, I wouldn't even say they're really sold out, but they are definitely sold out on the Sneakers app, but they did retail for $190. It wasn't something that I picked up. I just wasn't that interested in them. I mean, they're not a bad looking shoe at all, and I do like sixes, but it's just not something that I was really interested in picking up and adding to my collection at the time. Something that I would kind of like to get at an outlet or for a good you know, outlet deal or a really good price. But overall, as I said, I just didn't want it uh, when they released. Too much stuff coming out, uh, too many things that I've you know, been saving my money for uh, to try to get. So next, we're going to take a look at these Air Jordan 8s. Now, these, I will say, I actually really do think are pretty cool. I kind of like this material inside the side panels here. Kind of looks like suede in a way, and then it kind of looks like tumbled leather. It's kind of hard to tell um, from these pictures what your upper upper material is going to be on these. But I do like your paint splatter, uh, different colors over here, and then obviously I've always liked the Jordan Eight tongue with the carpet uh, material with the Jumpman in the middle. But I do really like these. They are set to release twelve twenty two for one hundred ninety dollars. Um, and obviously they're going to, or it's said to release at 10 a.m. So I think that this is a really good looking shoe. I think that this is something that it'll either become hot um, or it's going to just sit on shelves. It's not going to be hopped at all, but it does come out 1222 right before Christmas. So you do have kind of a Christmas theme uh, with your red and green. I think this would be a cool shoe to actually even maybe wear on Christmas uh, to your family events and stuff. That'd be pretty neat. So those I may try to pick up just kind of depends on uh, all the presents I'm buying for everyone and how the season goes with money and all that good stuff. So we will have to wait and see on those. Um, obviously, these just came out. I believe it was Friday. This is the Air Jordan 10. 
uh, Tinkers, and there's some other name that they have for these as well, but that's kind of the name I've seen dubbed for these more than anything. So you do have that blue upper. I think these are really cool. Um, I actually debated on whether picking these up or not, but I'm more interested in some other things coming out here very soon, and I just said, hey, I'm going to think... I'm going to pass on these for the time being, maybe try to pick them up at an outlet or something like that later on down the road. Um, the, as I said, retail's 190 and they are still available in pretty much a full-size run on the sneakers app right now or Nike.com. So that's pretty much what Jordan brand has under their Nike um, oh, holiday release or Jordan release roundup at this very time. But what I wanted to go over with you guys is two pair of sneakers that pretty much is really what I think you're... Um, interested for for the holiday season so this is your black friday release for this year this is the jordan 12 uh, bulls and obviously it's going to be all red for the bulls uh, colors or bulls colorway and we'll just go ahead this is straight off kicks on fire you definitely need to check out kicks on fire if you haven't lots of good resources um, details and ways to purchase sneakers on there um, always have good release dates and usually pretty accurate with everything so definitely check out kicks on fire if you haven't but let's go ahead and read just a little bit into these uh, Jordan 12s. So Jordan Brand will be kicking off Black Friday with his all new with this all new Air Jordan 12 Bulls. The sneaker is covered in a tonal theme with gem red covering the entire leather upper with a shinier red hue used for its many branded panels on the sides and upper eyelets, matching laces and a rubber sole complete to the complete to complete the design. I don't know why there's not a two in there, but that's okay. But reports also say that black accents throughout will be added to finish the Chicago Bulls theme. This first look also highlights a GS pair, so the model will be available in additional sizing. So it looks like we're going to have a full family run in these Air Jordan 12 Bulls. Um, does have red lace. I mean, basically, it's an all red shoe all over. So I know that... Um, there is some leaked videos and um, pictures of the shoe. It is kind of hard to tell whether this is a suede or it's going to be a tumbled leather. So it's one of those things I can't really tell you honestly. In my opinion, I'm not going to lie, I don't really know which I would rather it be. Um, I think tumbled leather would look cool, but at the same time, I almost feel that the suede would look really good on these. So I think either way, I'm going to be happy, but it is a shoe that I am very interested in picking up and I'm hope that it's an easy cop and that I'm able to get a pair. But November 23rd, uh, Black Friday, as said, and retail on these is $190. Let me know in the comment section below if you like this um, Black Friday release, if you think it should have been something else, something better, um, or just in general what you think it may uh, should have been if it should have been something different than a 12, you know, whatever you guys think, let me know in the comment section below. So now let's take a look at something that comes out in December. This is pretty much your, you know, the that eight that comes out the 22nd, I'm going to call that pretty much the Christmas release because it comes out on the 22nd right before Christmas. But at the same time, I'm going to say this is your biggest holiday release um, and maybe the biggest Jordan release of the whole year. This is the Air Jordan 11 Concord. I think if I am correct, the last time we had these was 2011. Um, this pair is going to have 45 on the heel instead of 23. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys like the 45 on the back? Do you think it should have the 23? You know, are you excited for the Concords? Whatever it may be, just let me know in the comment section below. But I will tell you, I am definitely excited for the Concords. I don't have a pair in my collection. I've not been interested in paying $500 retail for a pair um, because you know they're going to come back out at some time, and we are lucky enough to have them this holiday season. It is said that there's going to be over a million pairs of these, so it should be a pretty easy cop if you do your homework and enter your your raffles and all that good stuff you should be able to get a pair pretty easily um release date is december 8th and retail on these is 220 dollars so pretty much i would say all your foot sites are going to have them obviously the sneakers app is going to have them um, pretty much everywhere that you know that sells jordans or you know hot release sneakers in general is probably going to get these um, and you know, that could change over time, but that is what everyone is saying right now that basically there's going to be huge numbers of these. I would consider this more like a, uh, Jordan 11, 72 and 10 release. Um, I will think it's going to be something like that. 
So let's go ahead and read a little bit about this. As I said, this is straight off kicksoftandfire.com, one of my favorite websites to use for resources. Um, you definitely need to check it out if you haven't. So Jordan Brand is already prepping its holiday 2018 lineup, and it's going to bring back the Air Jordan 11 Concord this year. The Air Jordan 11 Concord is easily recognized as one of the most legendary and highly coveted Air Jordans of all time. Whether it comes with a 45 or 23 on the hill, its immortal status remains untouched. That said, it looks like this year's Air Jordan 11 Concord will come with 45 on the hill. The new images show that the shoe comes with a high, G, high OG, high patent leather mudguard that we've been seeing on the past few Air Jordan 11 releases. Other details include a reverse Jumpman on the ankle and a 45 branding on the heel, which was also featured on the Space Jam release in 2016. So I do have the Space Jams over there. Um, I'm not going to pull them out right now. If you do want to review or anything like that on those, um, I will do it. Just leave in the comment section below. We'll do like a um, throwback review video on those if you would like and to check them out a little bit so as it said you know obviously you do have that 45 on the heel and you are going to have this high cut patent leather instead of the lower cut um, on this actual pair of concords i'm really excited for the concords i definitely hope to pick up a pair as i said i don't think it's going to be a very hard uh, release to grab or anything like that just as i said stay tuned um, to your resources and definitely kicks on fire all your other sites um, that you check out for resources and see what they are saying as it comes closer to time but for the time being i think it will be a pretty easy release to pick up i really want to thank you guys for tuning in today and checking out the video um, it is kind of the first time i've really done like this kind of a sneaker discussion i guess you could say um, I know it's still taking a look at releases and taking a look at sneakers and all that good stuff, but kind of just doing something a little different, just pulling out the laptop, no editing, anything like that. So let me know in the comment section below, is there any topics, um, any things that you guys would like to hear about, any things you want to discuss on the channel, whatever it may be, just let me know in the comment section below, and I will definitely make a video on that topic for you guys. But I do appreciate you guys checking out the video today. I appreciate all your support, and we'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.